Hello everyone, welcome to the lecture series on power system protection. In this video, we will discuss what are the different type of fault. Before moving on to the classification, we will discuss the definition of fault and uh, what is the exact meaning of the fault. Moving on to the definition, in an electric power system, a fault or fault current is nothing but any abnormal electric current flows in the circuit, any excess of current, any unwanted current or any large amount of current which is, flow, flow, which is flowing through a particular circuit of power system, uh, that is known as fault. What is the impact of the fault? It is an abnormal thing, right? Definitely, the fault current damages electrical equipment. Not only that, but it disturbs the normal current flow of electric current. Normal flow of electric current also will be getting disturbed due to fault. Apart from that, the fault will cause us electric current flows, it is a disturbance of electric current flows, then it uh, damages the equipment and the reason for the death of human being, birds and animals. And the uh, entire system is getting curtailed and damaged due to fault. In news, you might, you might have observed some kind of short circuits which has happened in the building. Due to that, fire hazard has taken place. Correct? That is one, one reason for uh, what I can say, fault in a particular building or houses. That will cause us uh, short circuit and uh, that leads fire hazards. It's too dangerous. Let us understand the taxonomy or classification of fault. How does power system fault is divided? Basically, power system fault can be divided into four types. Symmetrical faults, then unsymmetrical faults, open circuited phases and winding faults. You can divide unsymmetrical fault into the following manner. Single line to ground fault. It can be called as SLG fault or simple word LG fault. The second subclassification of unsymmetrical fault is two line to ground fault. It is also known as LLG faults or you can call it as double LG faults. The third subclassification of unsymmetrical fault is line to line fault. It is known as LL fault. So these are the subclassification of unsymmetrical fault. Let me discuss what is the meaning of symmetrical fault. You know the word meaning of symmetry. Suppose there is a box piece. If you cut the box piece, we should get the equal halves. That is the word meaning of symmetry. If you cut in a particular plane, it should be divided equally. Let us talk about symmetrical fault in brief. So in case of symmetrical fault, it is also known as three phase fault. It is applicable for the three phase system, three phase fault. Consider a three phase system. You can have an observation like R, then Y line, B line. See, the three lines are short circuited as like in this fashion. Three lines are short circuited. The, thereby, the equal current is uh, flowing through each line. The fault currents are divided equally. But if you take the sum, you will be getting the bulk amount of fault current. Therefore, the total fault current is given as how much? IA plus IB plus IC. So if you calculate the magnitude, it is too much. The magnitude of the symmetrical fault current is very much high. Among all the type of fault, symmetrical fault is most dangerous fault. Okay, but uh, occurrence is rare. But it is too dangerous. Symmetrical fault is too dangerous fault. Let us discuss what do you mean by un unsymmetrical fault. You know the word meaning of unsymmetry. Okay. Uh, first point, single line to ground fault, it is also known as LG fault or some textbook you can see SLG fault. Here you can able to see uh, one line, short circuit between any one of the line conductor and the ground or earth, like this. So it may be like uh, Y and ground, then it can be like uh, R and ground. Okay, so these are generally known as single line to ground fault. Clear? It is actually commonly occurring fault, single line to ground fault. Later we will discuss about two line to ground fault or double line to ground fault, LLG fault. Here the thing is, short circuit between any two lines like this, Y and B has been short circuit like this. Hope you are getting my point. Apart from that, 
it will be directly connected to the ground also that means short circuited between any two lines and the earth that is known as double lg fault but the occurrence of this kind of fault is very very rare okay uh, the frequency of occurring this fault is very rare least occurring fault we can call double lg fault is one of the least occurring fault if i talk about the ll fault suppose a bird uh, that is sitting in between two lines so bird bird actually is a body okay definitely that uh, that conducts between two lines like this a bird is sitting between y and b the, definitely these two lines are getting short circuited because of the presence of bird so this is actually called the line to line fault this line uh, to line fault is also this kind of fault is also one of the commonly occurring fault line to line fault however we can say that uh, symmetrical fault is actually most dangerous fault it is also known as three phase fault and these are the unsymmetrical fault in that double line to ground fault is rarely occurring let us talk about remaining type of fault the first one is open circuited phases the main reason for open circuit what is open circuit you know uh, when two conductors are separated from each other breaking suppose a break is occurred in a line or a conductor break in a conductive path or joins that will reason for open circuit in that open circuit voltage is almost infinity okay all voltage become very much high and the current is tending to zero then failure of circuit breaker and isolators anyway you know uh, initially circuit breaker what is a it's a closed in a, in a closed condition initially once uh, the fault is occurred the moving contact will be separated from the fixed contact the in between uh, there is a high voltage it will act as an open circuit so that will create the fault in case of isolators isolators also same thing circuit breaker will be useful for clearing the temporary fault where isolators will be used for uh, permanent fault for example for the maintenance you will be using isolators the results of open circuit phases are it leads unbalanced current flow in the entire system okay so breaking of conductive path breaking of joints breaking of different segments that will create open circuit phases other sources of open circuit phases are circuit breakers and isolators another one is called a winding fault winding especially ac motor winding okay a fault occurring in the machine windings are generally called as uh, winding faults especially transformers then ac machine ac generators etc let us discuss about the effects of fault what are the major effects of fault the major effects of faults are as follow as follows definitely because of over current it damages the equipment due to short circuit it leads fire hazards in the entire building or entire area it leads unbalancing of the supply voltage and current thereby heating will be more then reduction of the supply voltage uh, of healthy feeder some feeders voltage dip will be happening because of the fault loss the system stability is true system stability will be spoiled it will be curtailed there will be interruption of supply to the consumers and curtailment curtailment some area there will be lot of curtailment because of the fault okay for the maintenance work also this curtailment will be taken place definitely loss of revenue in all as aspects because industry cannot able to work for long time and uh, even it reduces the productivity of course these are the major impacts of the fault i have referred the textbook of power system protection and switch gear written by badri ram and dn vishwakarma and i have referred some other websites also to gather the information let us conclude the session so in this session i have discussed first of all i have discussed what is fault what is the definition of fault later how does fault classify what about the classification of fault for classification i have explained in brief again unsymmetrical fault is divided into three segments and i could give the brief explanation of each and every fault and the major sources of these faults also later on i have discussed about major effects of fault if you are having any questions i request you to put up in the comment box and don't forget to give me the feedback also just for the improvement finally thank you very much for your continuous support happy learning